No doubt you've heard the old saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, that's especially true if you know exactly what to look for. Miranda Cohen found one such van with an eagle eye for antiques up in Springfield, a place where the doctor is always on the lookout for beautiful bargains. In the heart of Robertson County is a 36,000 square foot history lesson of sorts. People need to get out of the city and they need to come out to some of these little towns and stuff because they're just great. Doc Keys is the owner of Doc's Architectural Salvage and the treasures hidden within this two-story warehouse are true gems. There's certain things when you see it that just you just fall in love with it. We get a lot of people, they'll come in and they'll say, oh, Grandma had this or Grandpa had this in their house. The Indianapolis native started working in the construction business with his father and immediately learned to recognize the quality of a bygone era. I worked with my pop all my life, and he was just a master carpenter. He's a craftsman. You don't find that today. We worked in a lot of old houses. You know, my dad just taught me an appreciation for the old product, kind of stuck with me, and it's just, it's all fun. Doc has been full-time in the salvage business for more than a decade. He buys mostly within a 600-mile radius. With his trained eye and keen sense of quality, he knows exactly what he's looking for. You look for houses that are, say, 1920s back. I look for tall doors. Um, you know, it's just super fancy trim, uh, stained glass, that type of stuff. What was so special about the workmanship back then? They took pride in it. It's just, I mean, pride's the word. Over the years, I've become very particular on property that will salvage. Doc, everywhere you look in here, there is something else incredible to see. And obviously, every piece has a story. So tell me about this amazing portrait of Abraham and Isaac. What's cool about this is I had somebody actually call me from southern Indiana, southeastern Indiana, and said, hey, I know where this nice painting is. It, it was in a, a lodge. It just, it just hits you. It just gets you right to your heart there. It's just awesome. And look at his eyes. At Doc's Architectural Salvage, you will find a little bit of everything, but he is particularly fond of lights and unique doors, with some dating back to the 1800s. It's getting so strong where people are coming in and buying so many doors and lights uh, and putting them in houses and just finding out that, wow, does this ever make a difference? And he does have his favorites. I love Newell Post lights, the lady lights. You know, you can tell a good one from a bad one by uh, just the expression and the quality of their face. So they're just, I mean, they're awesome. I mean, you just look at us, they're just mesmerizing. But Doc's finds don't always come in such pristine condition. Things that were once exquisite have often suffered from years of neglect. This chandelier from France was severely damaged in a house fire, but Doc and his lighting expert, Sandra Humphrey, restored it to its original beauty. I let it sit back there for about a year and a half. Asked Sandy, our lighting guy, I said, hey, you wanna take a challenge on and try to get this thing clean? And I didn't know she was gonna take the whole thing apart because I would never think about taking that puppy apart. And I walked in the lighting room and here it is, every arm, Every crystal, everything is off of this thing. Wires are cut, and I looked at her and I said, oh my goodness gracious, and she goes, oh, I can get it back together. I asked him, can I take it apart? It deserves to come apart. And then he came in the next day and he was like, oh my God. <laughs> but uh, it turned out perfect. And I tell you what, you saw it when you first walked in here. Is that just incredible? 
It's magnificent. It's just, it's over the top. And for Doc's clients thirsty for a little more adventurous nostalgia, Doc's large vintage bars are in high demand. You know, they're just cool. I mean, I like beer. And it's just, you know, you go into a new bar and you're sitting there and all this shiny stuff and you go into an old bar, it's, you know, it's, it's not as lit up as much and it's just, there's craftsmanship back there. And uh, not everybody does the bars, so it's just, it's, it's a good niche for us. And with the help of the internet, Doc will chase things all over. And sometimes even he is surprised by what he finds, like this 200-year-old wooden cupboard. It was just amazing. You pull those drawers out, and this was made in 18-something. And, uh, I mean, dovetailed drawers, and it's an old farmhouse cabinet. It was, it's just incredible. And thanks to modern technology, Doc can also offer his vintage pieces to a vast audience. I put something on the internet and within 15 minutes I had 172 people look at that product. And so you've actually got millions of people looking at that product. I, I just like saving it. I put my heart and soul in this for 10 years and it's fun. I love coming to work every day. Doc Keys is a man on a mission top quality and a love for craftsmanship by his father. Finding diamonds in the rough and long forgotten treasures in the hopes of bringing their exquisite beauty and attention to detail to a whole new generation.